Good. I love this subject. (laughs) (laughs) So, um, about six years ago, I finished my certification as a master herbalist and started to learn about adaptogens, which is what led me to soul. And so I love talking about this subject. So you can go ahead and switch the slide and we'll dive in and talk about what exactly are adaptogens. So they are also known as adaptogenic herbs, but basically they're non-toxic plants that help our body naturally adapt to stress and maintain homeostasis or balance in the body. So we're in perfect health when we're in balance, right? And they do this by helping our body resist stressors. And those stressors can be physical, chemical, or biological. And a lot of these herbs have been used for centuries in both Ayurvedic and Chinese medicine practices. And what I think is really cool, especially about Chinese medicine, is that there's this belief that your emotions and your physical health are intimately connected. And it's this integrated mind-body approach to health and healing that operates in this really dynamic loop where emotions and impact your health of the body and vice versa. So what's really amazing about adaptogens is that they affect both the mind and the body and bring both into balance. All right, you can click to the next one. Um, so in order for an herb to be classified as an adaptogen, it has to have, um, it has to be non-toxic to the body and offer widespread support, but also, like I mentioned before, bring that body back into equilibrium or balance. Okay. So they have to be safe for daily use, um, have a wide variety of medicinal plant components Uh, balance the functions of the mind and body, help with stamina, and even strengthen the immune system. And I want to really point out what I really like about this is safe for daily use. Because um, I frequently have clients ask me all the time, like, I'm taking these medications, or I'm doing this, or I'm doing that. Are you sure this is safe for daily use? And I can say beyond a reasonable doubt, yes, this is safe for daily use. But that also means it's safe for children. It's safe for women who are pregnant and nursing. Um, you know, they're safe for us. So I'm, I'm totally confident in giving these herbs to my kids, right? Yeah. Um, so adaptogens, like I said, kind of specifically support your adrenals, which are the glands that manage your hormone response to stress and help you cope with things like anxiety and fatigue and that sort of thing. Um, and they also, what's really interesting is work with your specific needs and kind of adapt their function to your body's needs. So I like to say that they're almost like little doctors that come into your body and figure out what's out of balance and fix it. Right. Right. Um, so some of the, and they have so many benefits, but some of them, you know, they're, they're reducing the stress in the body, which we know stress is kind of at the root cause of all disease. It can improve your resilience and your ability to recover. Like after you've been sick or even like after a gym where you've like worked out really hard, it helps your muscles recover from that and can also customize these benefits, um, based on your particular given needs. Right. So sometimes people will ask, you know, maybe if I have low functioning thyroid, you know, like hormone issues or high functioning hormone issues, why would you still give me maca? Right. Which we're going to talk about because it doesn't matter if it's high or low, it's going to balance it out, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. can go to the next slide. Um, one of the things I always like to say is that there's no such thing as a magic pill, but if there were, it would probably contain an adaptogen. So let's talk a little bit about how adaptogens actually work. So they help your body through what's called the HPA axis, and they stabilize your existing cortisol levels and regulate their production. So when you wake up in the morning, your cortisol should be higher and it should be lower at night, right? But sometimes our cortisol, our stress hormone is all over the place, okay? So essentially it helps teach your body how to reach balance or equilibrium. So the, those stress hormones are high when they're supposed to be, lower when they're supposed to be. But what's interesting is it doesn't take away the stress response. Your body actually needs that, right? But it acts on what's called a cortisol curve, which is what you're seeing here. And it's how your cortisol naturally fluctuates throughout the day. And it helps find that, it helps it recalibrate and support both the mind and the body in reducing stress. So for example, if your body is really revved up, And 
you might have the an adaptogen herb that will kind of bring it down and calm that cortisol, right? But if it's really low and depleted, a different blend can help bring your energy back up. And so some of the greatest power is that they don't impact just one organ. They have the ability, like I said, like those little doctors to come in, to come in and figure out which organ or which system is out of balance and balance it up. And I think that that is really, really fascinating and amazing how they work um, it, because they have such a broad range of natural functionalities. Yeah, that's so cool. You know, I've, I've um, learned that a lot too, just like, you know, you wake up and <clears throat> that when the cortisol levels are the highest in the day and, and then they kind of go down as the day goes on, but not everybody's body does that, you know, you know, in order to get that, you need to go out in the sun for a half hour first thing, but like, that's not possible for everyone for whatever reason. And I just think that it's so cool that these, these herbs can go in and just really help to regulate within your body so that it can do those basic functions that it needs to, in order to maintain good health. Yes. Thanks, Tiffany. That's great.